Next up is our world title match at the Survivor Series. Big Show defeated Boss Man and his team with oh. Prince Albert, Viscera, and Midian in a four on one elimination match. And then later that night, Big Show would replace an injured Stone Cold in a uh, triple threat match for the world title against Triple H and The Rock. Big Show ultimately pins Triple H to win the title. And then on November 15th on raw boss man becomes the number one contender when he defeated the rock in a hardcore match. So believe it or not here in 1999, big boss man's get a title shot on pay-per-view. Yeah. It goes three minutes and 11 seconds before big show gets the win. Meltzer would say shows wearing gym shorts and a t-shirt in the ring really takes away from the impact of his size. Uh, working next to the deceptively huge Prince Albert certainly doesn't help either show choke slammed Albert through the Spanish announcer table and the crowd started loud, boring chants just two minutes into the match show immediately goes to the finish with a choke slam quarter star. This, uh, was fucking horrible too. <laughs> we should mention that this, this whole thing is the payoff for the big boss man and the whole, your daddy's dead. And the whole thing through, we've talked about that a thousand times, but through the cemetery and blah, blah, blah. Meltzer would write the big show cancer angle was originally conceived by Terry Taylor. And the idea was to rebuild him back to a top level star, which he'd fallen from the planned conclusion was nothing like it turned out. The idea was that the father would die and be cremated. And after the funeral undertaker would go to his house and steal the urn with the ashes and pour them down the toilet and flush it to build to an undertaker show headline program. Did you ever hear of this alternate ending? of ha ha ha. Your daddy's dead storyline. Can't say that I did. Yeah. It sounds like the shits. Yeah. Next up, we've got an evening gown pool match with miss kitty, BB ivory, and Jacqueline, the fabulous moolah and may young, your special guest referees. This is quite the interesting show here. Uh, the women are rolling around fully clothed in the pool. Then they tear Jackie's dress off and she's struggling to keep herself from being exposed. BB has her dress torn off and then ivory, uh, goes after the brawl, but somehow they don't get it off. And the fans are booing that kitty then tears ivory's dress off. She becomes the winner, but she said she wanted to be called the cat and said she promised that she was going to get naked. So she strips herself, including taking off her bra to reveal her bare breasts. Sergeant Slaughter arrives with a waiting towel. And then for humor purposes, May Young strips off her dress and threatens to go further, but Slaughter puts the towel on her as well. This doesn't age well, but this was pretty funny stuff at the time. But let's talk about the cat exposing herself for real. What's up with that? Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, uh, amateur hour, on unfortunately. The one, on the one hand, you're trying to get everybody to back it down. And Hey guys, we can't say this and we can't do that. And then on the other hand, we got a girl letting them fly. Yeah. Well, she wasn't supposed to let them fly. <laughs> so the idea is Sarge gets there and then give the illusion of letting them fly. Where of just, no one gets to see. I got you. And she jumped the gun, but she was fair to say she was a bit of an exhibitionist at the time and into that. I think you could say that was fair to say. 